What's up guys and welcome to another eBay Miniature Rescues. Today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my hobby journey, how I got to this point somehow, and why perfection is extremely prohibitive. So about 20 years ago, give or take a few years, I got into this hobby called Warhammer and I had a friend that that had older brothers that were into it when they were younger and he just said hey you need to lay down some cash we're gonna build and paint these miniatures and play some games so these are some of the first miniatures I ever painted when I started I had one brush I had no idea what a wash was I barely thinned my paints at all and it just kind of went and I had a lot of fun with it. It got me doing something with a bunch of people that I, I didn't hang out with very often. And it was something at the time that, you know, I didn't really think about the way that they looked. You know, I saw the box art, I saw GW's old website and I'm, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I really want to paint like that. But I never had it in my head to where that, that perfection needed to be there. And slowly, over at least a couple of years, you know, I, I got a little bit better. You know, I mean, I was, I was young, you know, so however good a 12-year-old can do, you know. But I got a little bit better, and I felt like I was expanding. You know, I still didn't know what washes were, even after like a year, which is kind of ridiculous. But, you know, getting better all the time and, and trying to put in effort. There was no YouTube. So there wasn't anything I could look into. It was just talking to other people. Um, and it, it's just one of those things that, uh, you know, you don't think about when you're younger. Like, you're just having a good time. So it came to a point where there were a few websites out there where you could post your work. And so I started doing that because I wanted, I wanted to get better. I, like, the friend I was playing with, for the most part, he kind of stalled out and just didn't really care anymore, but I was I was really into it. So, you know, I, I posted stuff up online like this and people were pretty cruel. And I mean, you know, the internet's the internet. What are you gonna do? But for, you know, a 12 year old, that's a little devastating. So that perfectionism grew in me. I wanted to be better and I wanted to do better so much to the point that I stopped painting entirely. And I feel like that's that's where a lot of people get to. I mean, if you're new, if you're starting out, you have to realize that that those people that painted that box art and those things that came out, you know, they they practiced for their whole lives. They've done classes, they've done all these things to get better. They've watched YouTube videos to find new crazy things to do. So it's it's one of those things that's always in the back of my head that the price of perfection is prohibitive. Um, was it Tabletop Minion did a video on this, I think a couple years ago, and that was one of the, the main videos that really got me thinking about it again. Because, you know, I always kind of kept in touch, right? Like I always, always saw hobby shops and I went in and I looked at stuff and I saw how things were progressing. But I didn't pick it up until, I'm pretty sure it was I saw that video and he talked a lot about this exact topic. So check that out. I'm going to link that in the description because it's a fantastic video. Uh, more, way more eloquent than I am by far. So props to that guy. <laughs> but um, I saw that and I just decided, you know what? I'm, I'm going to give this another shot. I'm going to go to the store and I picked up, I think, four or five different paints, you know, and I just went for it. And it kind of brought me back in that place where it's like, you know, just go for it. Just do what you need to do. Get the paint on the model and, and make it something. It's better than having it sit on a shelf and doing nothing for anyone. And that kind of brings us into now where it's like, I'm still, I'm still learning all of these things and I'm still not the best painter in the world, you know? So I just wanted to say that don't be a perfectionist when it comes to painting. You know, if you don't know how to use green stuff or milliput, then who cares? You're, you're using these models on the table to play a game with your friends. 
And that's just, that has so much more value than filling a mold line or, you know, getting rid of a mold line and filling a gap. And I'm all for doing those things. In fact, I just picked up some more milliput because it's something I should probably be doing. So I'm going to do that. And it's not about perfection. It's not about pleasing anyone other than myself. Like, I want to do a better job at this point, and this is the next step. So just remember that you don't have to be perfect. Done is always better than perfect. That doesn't certainly mean to not strive for a good result. You want to get better. You want to learn more. But the price of that perfection can sometimes lead to not doing anything at all. And when you just decide to do nothing, then you're not learning anything at the same time. You know, I, I think, man, where would I have been if I had pushed past everything when I was younger and still been doing this? You know, I, I mean, I like painting a lot. I paint way more than I play. So it's one of those things that, you know, who knows what could have happened. And obviously that's not the path that I ended up taking. But still, it's, it's always something to think about. You know, there's, there's always a point in every model where, you, you know, I've said it before, things just look like garbage and you need to push forward. And it's kind of that same thing. You know, you're, you're looking at it going, this isn't perfect. This isn't what I envisioned. But it just doesn't matter. This great unclean one up on the screen. I struggled with this model when I got it. This was probably the biggest breakthrough moment that I, I had had in miniature painting, you know, up to this point, I suppose, you know, I got halfway through this model and I just, I hated it. I wanted to get rid of it. I didn't care anymore. And I had conversations with a few people and they're, they're basically telling me, you know, I'm, I'm in my own head about it and I just need to push past that. And once I did and I got over that, that almost like a fear, you know, it got me to another level in my painting. I just pushed past. I, I built that confidence, just, just tackled it. So that's something to always think about. You're going to run into those issues probably on every model that you do. But if you don't finish that model and move on to the next one, you're not going to get better. All this to say that the reason I started this channel and I called it eBay Miniature Rescues is because I wanted to take neglected models and turn them into something that could be used in a game. Something that I could play on the table with my friends or have friends use them so that I could do something more than just have unpainted miniatures on a shelf. And I mean, we all have unpainted miniatures on a shelf that I don't think will ever go away. We will always be buying new miniatures before we finish all of the ones we already own. But that is a completely separate topic. Oh boy, old intro. Well, there you go. That kind of shows a little bit of what the whole idea is, where I think that people should be focusing on, you know, not being perfect, not doing everything according to anyone else or everyone else. Make your own path when it comes to painting. You're going to learn a lot, you know, obviously reach out to other people and figure out how to do the things you want to do. You know, I, I started this channel with my iPhone 7, I think, it, and a $15 hanger off of Amazon. I have a budget light set and a turntable that cost me ten dollars and it the, the whole thing the whole point was it's it wasn't about making the perfect videos it wasn't about doing anything more than what I wanted to do and so far I, I honestly I can't believe the reaction of everyone that has visited this channel and and had have has had conversations with me I'm overwhelmed by the amount of people who actually care about this channel. So I wanted to say thank you, seriously thank you, for joining me. With that being said, 
There's no sense in giving up now. I will see you in the next video.